MJ Impostato is a coach consultant that helps individuals, leaders, and teams find their mojo in order to break free of limiting beliefs and patterns and enjoy a vibrant life. Her company is called Mojo. It's her nickname. She reached out to me because she felt that her current brand didn't fully express the unique difference she offered in her line of work, nor reflect her personality. I knew I needed help with my brand because I really just didn't want to show anybody my website. I would tell them, oh, I did that myself, uh, kind of make excuses that it was always a work in progress. I have to say I was felt like I was losing my mojo a little bit. I discovered that she was vivacious, vibrant, and direct. She practically glows with positivity and energy. She was also deeply personal and interested. I took a look at her website and one of her brochures and I understood exactly what she meant. She frequently used colors that were muted, images and photos that were screened back or desaturated, and inconsistent font choices, some of which were safe and ultra conservative. I got the overall impression that her materials would be a good fit for a senior living community because her brand conveyed a sense of safety and serenity. I've tried to brand myself a couple of times, worked with other people. I've tried to, I've spent quite a bit of money trying to get someone else to help me with my website. And this was the easiest process, pain-free, uh, really, Ernie just brought out what was truly inside of me. It was fun, it was energizing, truly, I was excited about my business again. Now, the first step in brand development is find your brand spark, the unique point of difference which helps the brand stand apart from all the other brands. It provides inspiration for the brand's look and feel. We discovered she had a passion for peacock plumage and frequently referenced peacock symbolism in her coaching approach. She wants to help her clients lead vibrant, full lives that they could be proud of. The second step in brand development is identify your target customer. Now, she describes her customers as super high achieving professionals between 30 to 50 years old. They're independent. They're hard on themselves. They're burnt out, discontented. They may feel lost, but they're seeking fulfillment. So we found photos that helped us visualize these target customers. And with these customers in mind, MJ would be better prepared to create marketing materials that would attract them and find the best media platforms to reach them. The third step is realize your core belief. MJ believes that everyone has mojo, individual magic and great potential for personal happiness and a meaningful contribution to community. This core belief is the driving force behind her brand and will influence everything she does. The fourth step is establish your brand adjectives. I led MJ through an exercise where she was prompted to describe her favorite brands. Many of her favorite brands included the same adjectives, and we refined the list and gave each a specific definition. We used her brand adjectives to develop a brand matrix to guide the selection of brand elements like colors, fonts, vocabulary, and imagery. These four steps constitute a brand strategy that can be used to develop a unique and meaningful look and feel. Finding the right colors for her brand was much easier with the aid of the brand matrix. Remember that pale desaturated green used in her brochure? Well, it wouldn't fly in the new brand matrix. We chose a headline font that reflected her bold, optimistic, and professional brand attributes. We chose accent fonts that conveyed a feeling of authenticity and energy. We established a standard for photography that were fully saturated with jewel tones. Desaturated photos were no longer acceptable. Even if the subject matter was spot on, it meant we just had to keep looking for an appropriate image with the right look and feel. MJ was thrilled with the new branding strategy that helped her create focus through a lens that reflected her unique energy and passion. And now that I have a clear direction and a brand, I can just be clearer. The people who are looking for me will know exactly who I am. You know, I work in corporate, I work with high level executives all the time. And part of what they appreciate about me, like Ernie said, is that I am direct and I do go deep and I get to the source. And so that's so much clearer. And I knew that's what I wanted to convey. I was just having a really hard time doing it myself. And Ernie to the rescue.